weather and how storm uh, intensity and duration is going to affect us when we start talking about uh, water runoff from uh, watersheds or from properties. So let's take a look at the chart. We have rainfall intensity in inches per hour versus rainfall duration in hours. And you can see that we have these lines representing a 10, 25, 50, and 100 year storm. So as you would guess, it's much easier for a 10 year storm to occur once every 10 years than a 100 year storm which would occur approximately only every 100 years. Now it's real important as we start talking about these uh, expected probabilities that you realize we could have a 100 year storm tomorrow and then we could have a 100 year storm again next week and uh, that could continue for an indefinite period of time. Of course as that continued they'd change that duration of the 100 year storm it would be, become much different. So let's take a look at now what we might expect to find on a rainfall intensity duration recurrence interval and we have a, a typical table right here. Let's take a look at the rainfall intensity in inches per hour along the side versus the time in minutes and hours. So if we were to have a storm right here, uh, the uh, time would be 30 minutes, and let's say that this was a 10-year storm. We would follow this line up until we hit the 10-year curve. And you see we've got 2, 5, and we've got the 10-year curve right here. And then we would go over to the side at that point where it's almost to this line but not quite and that would let us know that we would expect to have somewhere in the neighborhood of about 4.8 or 4.9 inches per hour of rainfall intensity in a 30 minute storm that would occur approximately once every 10 years. I hope that makes sense and let's darken this in just a little bit so you can see it better. There we go. Now let's do one more. Let's say that we had a two hour storm and it was on a 25 year event. We'd follow up the two year, excuse me, the two hour storm. We'd follow it up to two, five, ten, and here's 25 right there. And you notice it's not going to hit nice and a need on a line every time so we just need to project that across and take a look we could use a ruler and get a much better idea than what I'm doing here just freehand but we expect that the rainfall intensity would be somewhere around um, we've got three there we've got a little less than halfway so probably about 2.3 or 2.2 uh, uh, somewhere in that neighborhood I'm going to call it 2.3 uh, inches per hour in a two hour storm that would occur once every 25 years. Okay, here's a, an example of where we're going with this. Is This is a, a actually chapter 17 and you can take a look at a typical watershed and when we have precipitation of course we don't get any runfall immediately. It takes a little while for that, that water to start rolling and collecting and filling the lakes and the tributaries and the streams. So we could expect a, a watershed to be kind of a larger area and when it starts we're not going to receive any runoff immediately. It's going to take a little while for that to collect and occur. So what happens is we actually have a situation that looks like this. This is a hydrograph and what we would see is that the runoff rate in cubic feet per second even though it starts raining right here you see nothing is running off immediately because all of that material has to collect. So a typical uh, curve that we would be seeing for the peak runoff rate would be somewhere about here and you can see the duration comes down here. So this is a generic chart and so this doesn't mean anything as far as what this curve is. It's just an example. So this might be a one hour duration in time here. This might be a six hour duration depending upon what kind of area and what kind of storm we're talking about. But it's just an idea of what happens. In other words, the uh, actual runoff is very slow in the beginning and then it gets up to a peak rate that's going to be determined by the intensity of the storm and the duration. And then of course as the storm tapers off, so does the runoff rate. 
I hope that's helpful and gives you a little bit of a preview of where we're going to be going uh, in the next chapter.